right, what's going on guys? It's Jeff. We're back here over on Elden Ring with our level one run. Yesterday we made some progress. I ended up uh, beating Godric and stuff. The next target now is to uh, probably go into this cave here, clear that out, get the smithing stones that I need, and then go and defeat Ranala over in this area. At the moment, we're currently level one. We got the Radagon Sword Seal. We got the Axe Talisman. Then we got our Physic here that gives us more damage for our charged attacks. And the Bubble Tier, of course, just to survive. We gotta do a few steps over here. We gotta go and uh, talk to Raya here, get the invitation to the manor. And again, to be honest, I really don't feel like fighting Riker. I honestly just get that invitation just out of pure habit at this point, just in case I need something over there. And over here, we can go and get her necklace from, uh, I forget the guy's name. But also, if we kill this guy, we can also take the iron balls that he has. Could come in handy later in the game, but at the same time, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I can kill him. Boom. Boom. Don't heal. Don't heal. No! Got him, okay. <laughs> All right, we got the iron ball. Just for the future, we could potentially use that. Although, if I'm gonna go switch over to the... Which are definitely considered much better weapons than uh, what I'm currently using. This is just kind of a unique thing to do. I'm sure it's been done before and probably much better. But this is what we're working with right now. And uh, personally, I've been having a lot of fun with it. I don't want to trivialize anything yet, so... Here's your necklace. Thank you very much. Now we go and grab the map. Then we'll head over to the tunnel over here. I've done this so many times, I just haven't done it at level 1. And a lot of these level 1 runs that I'm seeing from people are like... People do some crazy skips and all sorts of other stuff. I have no... I've never done any of that stuff before. So, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. And it might make my run harder than it needs to be if I can't do any of these skips. Personally, I would be a little bit more impressed with myself if I did actually do them. Without skipping anything, I just brute force through everything i'm just gonna go and try to beat any of them that i possibly can i don't give a fuck all these little like altars over here all have like uh smithing stones and stuff in them so grab that smithing stone too i need those i want to try to conserve my money as much as possible now i know i'm gonna end up grabbing the bell bearing or whatever over here oh i didn't even know there's a grace here and after i visit these i probably won't need the bell bearing anymore but just in case you know i end up swapping weapons or whatever it may be i need to get it anyway so i think for those uh bell bearings i have to fight the crystalline boss I think, which shouldn't be too bad since we do charge attacks and jump attacks and stuff. So we got the uh, blood church thing over there with uh, Vare's quest, which a lot of people use to uh, get to Moog earlier. I might have to do that later. I, I don't really know. I usually get to Moog the old fashioned way where get to the consecrated snow field and, uh, you know, take the portal and all that stuff. But maybe I will have to do that at some point. I think I have enough uh, smithing stones now, though, after that little run to uh, upgrade. No reason to wait on the upgrade. So I'll just get them now. Boom, okay, and then we can do some threes. All right, better upgrades than I thought. Right, let's go and grab that uh, bell bearing, even though we don't need it anymore technically for our Zweihander. If and when we uh, swap over to the spike fist or the iron balls or something, I can just slam all of these uh, smithing stones into it. There's a golden seed over here somewhere. Grab that. We also need to go and grab the key from uh, behind that dragon. I'm most definitely not gonna fight the dragon. I'm gonna only do the dragon fights that are necessary for me, because dragons arguably are probably the worst fights in the game. Massive enemies, it's just, it's not. Not fun. Dude, on my other playthrough, I was trying to duplicate some uh, remembrances to go and get the uh, one Ranala stat, the health and steeple build that I was doing. I was using the full moon sorceries. And this is one of the most annoying mausoleums to be able to get on. You have to like jump off of an air current onto it, but you have to wait for it to even walk close enough for you to even be able to do it. All right, we're in here. We're upgraded. I think that's a somber up there. I'm not going to go and grab that. I can grab all the extra little uh, things in here. Please don't make this longer than it needs to be, Jason. Just don't fall. Don't be stupid. You got a lot of money on you. Don't jump down. Don't be idiots. Okay, then die, dumbass. Whoa. Grab all of these. Get the fuck out. There should be enough threes to upgrade, actually. I have ten of them. And I already did one of the upgrades. I think I have enough. We need to just not die and throw on this uh, boss fight here. It should be very easy. Can these guys get poisoned? I was unreasonably nervous right here. You're dead. Whew. All right, got that guy. Easy peasy. We're out of here. Safely. No problems. Didn't have my flask available for that fight, but it's fine. Okay, let's go back. Upgrade. And then we have to go and grab the key. And then we go into Raya Lucaria. Beat the Red Wolf and then beat Renala. Strengthen. Boom. Boom. 
Oh, we got fours as well, plus 11? Big. It's good progress, honestly. I don't usually bother looting all of that stuff when I have, like, a stronger weapon or whatever, but for this run, picking up all those items that I remember, very useful. Some runes and stuff over here as well. You can grab all this stuff. All right, chill out. Grab that, and this, and this. Three more smithing stone twos. Yeah, these little, like, altars that sometimes have, like, uh, either a statue in there or a teleporter or whatever, almost always have those. And then once I get up to the altar's plateau, I can go and get the ritual sword talisman. When I get into the capital, I can get the ritual shield talisman. I could do a lot. All right. Into Raya Lucaria. Speed run level one. I'm gonna go and grab this uh, golden seed over there as well. There's a golden seed over here on this bridge. Got that. Golden seeds actually have more value for this run. Since I need a whole lot of flasks, and I don't necessarily need them to heal a lot. Okay, Raya Lucaria, please don't give me a hard time. Oh no, I forgot about Moongrim. I, I got a play that I can do on Moongrim though. I'm just gonna pop this right now before I even get up there to fight these guys. Stop it. He's trying to hit me with the book. Pop this open. These guys drop down from the ceiling. I grab this before they stop me, and then I'm gonna try to fight my way out of this. I might die though. I'm lucky. Sit! Sorry. There is a somber stone, I think, behind the uh, altar in there, but again, I just I don't care. I don't need it. The things that I'm planning to use are not somber. It's either this or one of the fist weapons. The OG fist weapons. Balls or spikes. Grab this. All right, Red Wolf is up next. Thankfully, the Red Wolf doesn't have a ton of HP. The Red Wolf just moves around a lot, though. I also don't know if I'm going to get a charge R2 off. I might be able to. I knew this would happen. I knew it. I knew it. The poison is doing work, though. He's very squishy. I just, I have to be able to survive it. Wolf has big openings, but at the same time, like, I, I don't know all of its moves. It usually only has time to put out, like, you know, a handful of moves, and that's it. I don't know what the startup of a lot of those moves look like at all, and I've killed this thing a lot of times. It usually just dies so fast that I don't really learn that much. I need my souls back. I really need that back. Oh. That was really scary. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, next. Renala. Yeah, if she hits me with anything uh, without my bubble anyway, I am absolutely dead. That's gonna be the case with all of them, and these guys aren't even the hard-hitting ones yet. Oh, there is a uh, golden seed over there that I have to get, actually. Oh, no. This abductor thing is going over here. I'm so fucked. Don't be weird, man. Got the golden seed. Okay. Dude, please leave me alone. Grow up, dude. Okay, and then we got Moongrum here. Now, watch this. I'm gonna put this on just in case. Which might be a misplay, but I'm gonna have him chase me. Right? I'm gonna need him to get out here. And then I'm just gonna run for my life and take the uh, elevator, and hopefully he's not too close to me. Back up! Fall in the hole, fall in the hole. See ya. <laughs> See, realistically, he's supposed to be far enough away from you, and then you can start taking the elevator up, and he just runs into the hole. That way was a little bit scuffed. I fucked up. I panicked. So now we want to hit her with the poison as soon as she comes down.
Okay, if I hit her with the poison right now, will that happen in phase two? If not, I have to afflict her right at the start. Yeah, I have to afflict her. Really? She's completely invulnerable inside of that? That is so crazy. Where did the poison go? So scared level one is so scary i have never my heart no longer pumps on regular playthroughs against these bosses my heart rate is through the roof fighting this shit right now amazing upgrade our flasks now we just go across the uh the bridge stop at the church go to the lift i also have to go and get that other half of the uh deck this medallion once i get up that lift i can go and get the next bell bearing and get my upgrades that way because i'm pretty sure i don't have much of the other ones anymore yeah one four i have no five grab this now I have to go and get the other half from here. No, it would be cool in the DLC if the revered spirit ashes actually made torrent slightly faster. Maybe like horseback ash of wars or something. Maybe not like a huge amount of them because I'm sure that they could break the game, but it's not like we don't already have things that break the game anyway, so. I guess platforming wise, if you were able to give like torrent a speed boost or something like that, maybe it would break some things, but I just wish I could travel even faster with torrent. I have yet to do like a summon run or anything like that, so I have no idea how much the revered spirit ashes and stuff actually help overall. But it has to help at least half as much as the uh, regular one. Players are seeing like a 90% damage boost. I feel like Torrent should get at least like a 20 or 30% speed boost. I'm grabbing this. If I die, I at least have it. I have to go back up though. Did he stop? He's not coming up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I could just go back up here then. Thanks for not making that difficult. I think he stopped climbing on the ladder, but I didn't want to check. He was definitely climbing up the ladder behind me. And then he just stopped. I didn't know he was chill like that. I usually go this way so I don't have to worry about the catapults. Usually they're not too big of a deal, but if they hit me at all, I am just absolutely smashed. Now, after I get up here... Uh, Raya's gonna be waiting for me. I have to accept her invitation as well after getting my first grace up there, and then that will unlock, uh, Radon. But before I go and fight Radon, I probably want to go and get my, uh, bell bearing so I can be as strong as I possibly can be before trying to fight him, because I have a feeling Radon is gonna be a, a bit of a challenge at level one anyway, because if he hits me with anything, I am dead. Random quick little attacks and stuff, yeah, I gotta be very, very careful. I want to be as strong as I possibly can get. Go up here, get the grace, get the golden seed, get the map, go back to Raya, go into Volcano Manor, and then we'll stop right there. Also, this is the place where I can uh, get my Ritual Sword Talisman as well. Okay, so that'll be the plan for the uh, next video. We get our Ritual Sword Talisman, get our Bell Bearing and everything, all to prep for Radon. Grab that. That will unlock the uh, the portal in front of Radon's place, so we don't have to actually go through the fort in order to get to him. Grab that. And if I can beat Radon, I can most definitely beat that Draconic. The issue is that I have a good amount of money right now. I need to find things to spend it on quickly. Honestly, it might be a better idea for me to just kill all the merchants and take all of their Bell Bearings, so I just have it all in one place that might not be the worst idea but i also don't want to kill all of them i really don't yeah, i'm pretty sure my uh ritual sword talisman is in some area over there yeah those uh ruins right there i'll just mark that so i remember ritual sword talisman will give me a damage boost i think it's like 10 percent, 15 percent, or something like that whenever i have full hp it gives me more damage now 10 percent, 15 percent isn't very much when you're hitting for a couple hundred but anything helps i think in order to get the uh, mushroom crown as well i have to go all the way to the lake of rot and i really don't want to do that dude all that for a 10 percent damage buff for 20 seconds i don't really know dude i can't be the only one that thinks that volcano manor is super comfy at least in the uh main area where tanith and everybody else is residing i can't say much for everything going on underneath of it or around it or inside of it but right here this is super cozy it's such warm light now we can get to the volcano manor whenever we want so the next video i'm gonna go and grab this i'm gonna go and grab our uh upgrade over here out of one of the caves this one is especially easy to go and grab it's right there at the entrance and then we're gonna go and fight radon over here you already know the plan thank you guys so much for all the love and support and uh yeah it's with jeb guys later